my first Keystone meeting was um, a diabetes meeting, and I think it was in Santa Fe, and just like probably 15, 16 years ago now. And so I, you know, I, put, a, I put an abstract, and it was probably on the knockout of the insulin receptor in the heart or something like that. And um, a couple of things stood out. Number one, you know, I went into this conference. Nobody knew who I was really. They knew who, who my mentor was. She's obviously very famous, but people came to my poster and I had, you know, hours of really engaging conversations with people who were truly interested in the work that I had to present. So that is a Keystone moment. There are, you know, some other interesting Keystone moments which are perhaps a little bit more, more comical. Like for example, um, is this is a Keystone in Snowbird, Utah. And so the meeting ended, but the snow came the night before and an avalanche happened and they closed the road that went up to Snowbird. So we were all trapped in the, in the resort. And, and what happened was that they had to actually put beds in the hallway and everything because, you know, other people already come and checked in for the next meeting, right? And the people who had checked out for the meeting that was stuff ended. And so we're like sleeping in cots in the hallway of, you know, up in Snowbird, but it was okay. And in fact, there were, you know, the meeting went an extra day, sort of, but you know, in a in a much more um, informal way. So I think, you know, um, that's one of the interesting things about keystones. You really can't quite predict what might happen, but nevertheless, you know, people people go there because they really really want to immerse yourself in science for four days, and it kind of almost doesn't matter what happens in the end. Um, because, you know, I think good science and good um, fellowship sometimes often trumps that.